Hi, welcome back to Bike Forever. So this video is just a really quick demo of running this ZX81 racing game on a real ZX81. Uh, so we've got a, I'll show you in a minute, we've got a ZX81 with a memo pack, 16k RAM pack on it. Um, this game, I've tried it now in a 4k, 8k and 16k version of the emulator and it runs in all of those, but it doesn't run in 1k or 2k. So to do this, we're going to convert it to an audio file, a WAV file, um, using the ZXP to WAV utility, which I just downloaded. I'll put a link in the description to that. You just drag it across, and then it just should create a racing.wav file. And you basically run that in Windows Media Player. And uh, as I show, I'll basically pan around now to the uh, ZX61, so you can see I've got an audio cable into the uh, ear connector which is going to the headphone output for a PC. You can do it with a phone I guess as well. Um, it's important I think that it's a mono cable as well. I've read a lot on forums that so it's got to be a mono cable. So basically just do um, load quote quote pan up, you should be able to see the screen there, double click on the WAV file, press return, press new line on the ZX81, so we've got an LCD screen, it obviously goes to no signal, that's just uh, what happens with an LCD screen, I think it, it basically, they, because the way the ZX81 works, it's just not outputting any video signal at this point, because it's busy, um, CPU is busy reading the uh, audio data, so it takes about 38 seconds for this to load. Um, as it is, the, I think the file is about 2K or something like that. Just go to the end, and there we go, it loaded. It's a bit of a miracle. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble getting, getting the right connectors again, it's a while since I've used the audio cable in there um, I'll just try and turn the keyboard around so I can actually play the game without disturbing it too much ok here we go and playing the racing game, see that thing at the start you've got to sort of press the Z key a few times to the left to, to get the car under control it is a bit of a bug in the game I'll admit that, I, I just haven't been able to work out how to um, just fix that. It's something to do with scrolling the road. Um, it's something that wasn't in the original ZX Spectrum version. Um, I suppose it should be able to fix it eventually, but so there you go. It's getting faster again. See how, what score I can get this time. As I said, I think in the other one I might try and add like a high score as well. And it, whoa, it gets really quick. There you go. So BBO2 and hexadecimal was a score. So anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's basically a quick demonstration of it running on a, a real ZX81. So the emulator is pretty good, I would say. Um, I was experimenting a little bit with some of the things like making the checkered flag move side to side. And that did look a bit different on the real one. The timing was different to the emulator. I suppose you'd expect that. Uh, but it tends to be, tends to play quite well, just the same. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.